primary election right now, which is May 20th, so I just want to make sure and put a plug in for that. You know, traditionally in Georgia, we've had a July primary. Uh, that got moved up this year, so now it's going to be May the 20th. So if you're uh, planning to vote in the primary election this year, there's some really huge races going on, one of them for the U.S. Senate. We have three open congressional races. Uh, so maybe if you see any of those candidates that are out and about, you can talk to them about getting them moving on on the Jobs Act and getting the rules written up there in D.C. And uh, they may actually listen to you at this point in time. A um, couple of couple of cool election things that we have. We just rolled out online voter registration. So if you're not registered to vote and you want to, if you have a Georgia driver's license, you can now go on to the Secretary of State's website and register to vote and you do it online whereas before you've had to fill out a paper application and mail it in uh, you can still do that process but if you'd like you can do it online we also have a one-stop shop uh, elections app now uh, that's really a great tool for voters you can do a couple of things on the app uh, again you can register to vote through your through your app apple or uh, android device or you can access the state's uh, Secretary of State's My Voter page, which will give you all your individualized voting information if you're already registered. Where your precinct is, where the early voting locations are in the county, you can get a copy of your sample ballot so you can see exactly what you're going to be voting on election day. Uh, if you vote an absentee ballot by mail or if you're a military or overseas voter, you can actually track your absentee ballot. Uh, on you know through the app or through our website to make sure that the county receives it and it gets voted and you can simply download this free app by searching GA votes don't spell out Georgia it's just GA votes and uh, you can download the free app it's a, it's a great tool uh, also wanted to just remind you real quick um, if anyone that's here has a Georgia corporation. Of course, I know several of us have, have, have talked about multiple corporations that they help register some of the law firm guys, but um, just a reminder that our, our annual registration period has been going on since the first of the year. It actually ends on May the 31st, so if you haven't renewed your corporate registration, you can go online and do that anytime. If you have any trouble with that or want help, uh, Mandy and Cosby are here from the office today. They have a booth next door. They can help you, you know, register to vote. They can help you with corporations issues. You know, we also do professional licensing. They've got a handout on the invest, invest Georgia exemption. If any of you need more information on that, they'll be glad glad to help you with that. But I just wanted to remind everyone about the uh, the corporate registration. And with that, I'd like.